express to express to express Great, great afternoon to all of you watching the 042 Express right here. Welcome to today's edition of the 042 Express, of course. For those who don't know, this is that show that gives you the best entertainment. Not just that, we make sure we play great videos as well as the latest of them, all right? So we play all those great videos for you as well as uh, tell you what's going on on the entertainment scene. Make sure you get a full details on what is going on on the entertainment scene. And that is what we do right here on 042 Express. All right, so for those who don't know, for starters, I think I should use that word because if you're right there on your screen and you don't know who you're looking at, um, let me not say anything. <laughs> All right, so welcome to today's show. My name is Ed Nodi, the Blue Magic. I am your radio TV boyfriend and I will be here from now till exactly 3 p.m. of course. So um, I've got great videos that we're gonna play for you today. Lots of interesting videos and also some fresh videos, not just fresh, brand new videos. We have all that right here on your 042 Express. So all you need to do is just uh, stay right there and make sure you don't go anywhere. Tell your friends, tell everybody around you, tell your mom, tell your dad. I had moms and dad these days that don't miss 042 Express. I mean, I'm telling you, I go out these days and um, they're like, wow, we love, we love your show. We love this. And I'm really excited that you guys love this show. I met someone, Mr. Luke. I can, yeah, Mr. Luke. I met him, you know, somewhere and um, I was really excited to meet him. I was really excited that he walked up, he, you know, called on to me and, you know, called uh, out, out to me. It felt good. Trust me, it felt so good. And uh, I just want to say shout out to you. Thanks for being a part of my success because without you guys, there's no me. Trust me, there's no me. All right, so I feel great to have you guys. So what I'm going to be assuring you guys today is that we've got a lot of great videos, lots of interesting videos that we're going to play for you today right here on 042 Express. They are already all parceled, all packaged. And also, trust me, I also have some great gossip uh, that we're going to be talking about today on the show. And also, a very, very, we've been having a lot of gentlemen as guests on the show right here. But right now, I've got someone pretty. Trust me, you want to see this lady. Oh my God, she looks so pretty. So you're going to be seeing her right here on, on the show. If, you, if you've never seen a pretty girl before, just stick around. You'll definitely see a pretty lady here on the show today. So we're going to be kicking off today's show. I'm so excited to kick off the show right now. I've got this wonderful song and... Um, it's been a while we heard from Nonso Ahmadi. Um, he is a Nigerian, but he sounds so... Should I say Brit or American? I don't know. He, he actually sounds... He might sound a lot Nigerian, but his sounds are more like... Um, you know, he, he makes foreign kind of music, but he fuses it into Nigerian and um, Nigerian type of music, of course. And uh, this time around, he came up with a song, a very, a very unique song, if I'm to use that word. Uh, very interesting song. I listened to it. It's a very great, a very wonderful. And it's coming from him, Nonso Amadi, of course. And uh, we're going to check it out. It's titled Radio. So stay tuned and ch check out this wonderful song, Radio, right here. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Oh, wonderful song. Very interesting song. I love that song. And it's coming from Banky W. And it's titled... Um, heaven all right so great song i love the song and um i think somehow the song was addressing it was it was it was reaching out it was it was more like a, a letter to adesua Itomi, of course and um great song if you guys know um during the weekend there was a wedding there were lots of weddings trust me lots of weddings during the weekend and one of them where that's off Banky W and Adesua Itomi, they tagged the wedding B-A-A-D, of which Ebuka just came from nowhere and stole the show. <laughs> All right, so everyone has kept on talking about Ebuka's attire to the traditional wedding. Uh, it's been crazy. I think I myself, I think the dressing is really well-deserved. Trust me, it's well-deserved. Great, uh, great dressing from Ebuka. And then um, the wedding was really interesting. The fact that he had to fly all the way from Nigeria to South Africa for that wedding is really something else. A lot of people came around, lots of uh, great artists. And um, but guess what? Whiskey was nowhere to be found. We, I know a lot of people were expecting to see Whiskey there, but you know, one should know that Whiskey has been busy trying to win the world, <laughs> or, you know, to save the world. If I'm to use that word, he's been traveling a lot of places you know, from uh, United States, shuffling it to, with Nigeria. 
uh, probably he didn't have time to come around. But hey, a lot of people went and started attacking him, trying to say a lot of things uh, to Risky. But uh, he's come out to say, hey, he is really apologetic for not being able to, you know, show up for the wedding. It was really, it was really, it, it was really something he couldn't control according to what he said uh, he said he's going to regret it for the rest of his life and i really hope i, I don't know I, i'm not going to hope for him to be sad for the rest of his life but hey uh, that's what i think about that and um, at the moment whiskey is still trending he's still doing very well for himself he um he got someone pregnant i heard uh, he got his manager pregnant at the moment and uh, uh you know lots of other things going on with him and uh for the most of all the song that he dropped a lot of people love the song great song very interesting song i want you guys to check it out and uh have we played it here before i don't think we've played it here before but hey there's always a first time for everything let's check out the song coming from whiskey it's titled mania and uh, after that, we're going to play uh, Malo by Tiwi Savage featuring Whiskey as well. And um, just stay tuned, enjoy yourself. After that, I'm going to bring in someone here and uh, on the stage. So stay tuned and enjoy yourself. I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> All right, so it's been a while we heard from uh, we heard from Inyanya. It's been a very long time from him, and this time around he decided to do that song Iyanu. It's also called Holy Water. I don't know if that if it relates, but hey, a great song. I love the song. Wonderful video, interesting video. We love the video just like that. And I noticed something about that video. If you were watching the video, if you watched the previous song that he did, all right. Um, that's uh, the one he did with Paul. You'd see Maven Records, their label on the video. But this time around, I watched the video and I didn't see anything like Maven Records. And that to me seems uh, there's something going wrong. Don't you think so? I think there's something going wrong with him and uh, the Maven boss, I don't know. But for me, I think the move he made to Maven wasn't really the best to me. I think it wasn't really the best. I think he was, uh, what he needed, he needed someone who's um, who can focus on him, only him. All right, so that's what I felt. By the point he signed on to Maven Records, I was like, okay, just go ahead, let's see what what happens. But then I think somehow I think uh, a lot of people have been, you know, focusing on. I mean, Maven Boss, the whole Maven Record, have been focusing on other artists like um, Wicked Bangs and. Uh, to the extent that he dropped an album and nobody noticed the album, I mean, around here, uh, it, it was really ill-promoted. It wasn't well-promoted, if, if I'm to be asked. All right, so I, I think um, if he could uh, set up a structure for himself, you know, call up some young, young, uh, young uh, managers to putting heads together to find a way to push him out of there, I think it's going to do him a lot good. You know, um, uh, I just hope he doesn't leave on a very sad note with um, with Maven Boss, of course, Don Jazzy. All right, so we're gonna talk about something else. Um, guess what? I'm gonna be giving you guys a heart attack today. I'm gonna give you guys a heart attack today. And um, this time around, I'm gonna talk about the top earners, the Forbes list of the top earners, all right? So uh, the list was released last week. And um, uh, there's a lot of people who were winning and um, the margin at which some people gave some people gap was very huge. Like long, long shot. <laughs> All right. So this time around, uh, Beyonce emerges. Uh, she's emerged the uh, you know the top earner of the pop list, uh, pop list, uh, of course, and uh, she is uh, you know reported to be earning 105 million dollars. That's a lot of money, huge sum of money, and she's earning that all to herself. And uh, she was followed up by Adele. Adele earns about 69 uh, million dollars. That's still a lot of money. Followed by Taylor Swift. And Stella Swift uh, is actually uh, earning uh, about uh, 44 million dollars. Now, I was actually expecting Taylor, uh, Taylor Swift to, you know, top the earners, uh, but this time around, I think it's not really her season. Um, but she just released an album. We expect Repetition is the name of the album, and not not too recent per se, but you know, I think a few months ago. Uh, we're still expecting her to raking some money. You know, probably she might decide to go for a tour or something of that nature. But when she does that, we expect her to make some more money uh, than she's made already. But hey, who doesn't love Adele? You know, but you know, somehow I felt she 
she's been out there for a while now. She's been doing good for herself for a while now. And um, interesting for her though. But hey, Queen B is always Queen B. <laughs> Alright, so let's check out this wonderful song coming from this pretty lady. And uh, she took a time, she took a, she took a break from singing for a while. It's been a while we heard from her, but um, I'm not really trying to play you her latest, but this is something we've checked out for a while now. So let's check it out. It's coming from Yemi Alade, and uh, a wonderful song is by to Charlie. Enjoy yourself. I'll be back with the pretty guest this time around. I know I promised that before, but hey, I will deliver this time. Stay tuned and don't go anywhere. I'll be back. <laughs> For two express, two express, two express. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome back to your 042 Express. That was the freshest song so far. Great song coming from Davido, and it's titled like that. I love that song. Incredible song. Now, a lot of people don't agree with me on that one. A lot of people, I think I prefer that song to Fire. But I believe a lot of people don't agree with me on that one. But hey, uh, what if you if you have a different view of that, go straight to my Twitter handle at Blue Magic underscore Music. On Instagram is at Blue Magic underscore Music. On uh, Facebook is Blue Space Magic underscore Music. You can tell me what you think about that. But guess what? I've got a very very pretty lady in the building with me. Silverline. <laughs> Her name is Silverline. You're welcome, Silverline, to 042 Express for the first time in our lives. Thank you. My life thank you, thank life you, thank you. And our universe collides <laughs> and all that. She, you can see how she laughs. She's, you know, like all those, you know, those Miss Ward kind of laugh, you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that kind I'm of thing, you know, really. put herself together and then give that good laugh and then come back, you know. You're pretty, you know that, right? Thank you. I calm down at home. <laughs> I'll blow you fine. <laughs> blue. Okay, I'll so how are you doing? Away. I'm good. Mm. Very how good. is your trip down to Indigo? Mm, not bad. Not bad. Are you sure it's not bad? Be honest. God is watching though. But hey, <laughs> who am I to judge? <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> so um, uh, Silverline, you, you've been doing songs. I, I listened to the song you did. I, I just want to get into you know know you better, a lot more better, and all that. You know, I watched a video you did. Nice song. Thank you. All right, so you're still going to talk to us about that. First of all, before you talk to us about that, where is? Tell us more about Silverline. Okay, my name is Silverline okay. Sokari. Mm. What? I, 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 I missed that one. Sokari. Sokari. Yes. Okay, I'm not going to say what it sounds like, but keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't. It's okay. Well, I'm from. You, you don't dare me though. <laughs> I'm, I'm from River State, Calabar, precisely. Much. Yeah. So, mm. well. Mm. Don't worry, <laughs> I'll do the asking. I know you're you're stuck somewhere. But hey, um, how long have you done music? How long has it been for you? You look a lot younger though. Yeah. But I'm gonna <laughs> ask you, how long have you done music for? Okay. Officially, I started this year. Don't tell me I'm officially started from your mother's stomach. No, no, no. <laughs> really not. I've heard, I've heard a lot of that. You know. <laughs> okay, but I started doing music right from secondary school. Oh, okay. Yeah, Fair my enough. my SS3. Okay. Okay, I started writing songs from then. Oh wow. Today. Today. Yeah. By the way, I, I I wrote songs back in secondary school. I remember my first song. Who wants to hear my first song? <laughs> Do you want to hear my first song? Fine. <laughs> you want to hear it? Of course I want. Tell me you don't want to hear it, please. Well, it might sound really awkward and want to blow me away like this Hamatan, but... <laughs> really? <laughs> By the way, I was going to ask you how you are enjoying the Hamatan. It's not really cool. It's not really cool. Um, what was the last time you experienced this type of Hamatan that you've seen so far? Two years back, because last year Hamilton wasn't this severe. Where did you enjoy your last year the holidays? My place, of course, really Luguma. Mm -hmm. oh, but you guys always have rain every time. No. Almost every time, you know. Almost every time. No. I, I, I usually come to Port Harcourt. Don't get me wrong. Okay. But then I I see more of the, rain, you know. Well, they say Port Harcourt is the rain uh, city. Uh, but it's not really like that. 
Oh, it's really? Cool. You're trying to define your, say, your state. Right? I should. Yeah, but hey, it's all good. I mean, <laughs> I still love it for the fact that the clouds are not always uh, that bright. And sometimes when it gets bright, it's really bright mm. and all that. So um, back to your career <laughs> before we drill too much. All right. So um, what was the first song you did so far? You said you started officially this year? Yeah. And what song did you start with? Ninja's Blessed. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so that's the song we're going to play today. Yeah. Wow. So what, what what's the inspiration about making music? What what made you to officially? Why not since? Why did you decide to this year start making music? Okay, I just found out the reason why I should because, you know, considering what's happening around me, I wanted to pass this message which which I've already put down for a long time now. I think this is the right time to tell the Nigerians, you know, what I have in stock for them. So that's what I'm saying. So tell me, what, what's the, what's, what's about the song, Niger's Blessed? Of course, a lot of people, we've been hearing that for a while. Mm. We, you know, we've got the best uh, human resources. We have the best mineral res resources out here. We've been hearing that, but you know, what's happening is happening, well, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what, what, what's the inspiration for the song? What inspired you to make the song? What was it for you, you know, that made you want to make that song? Okay, like you said, Ninja is blessed. Ninja is blessed. It's been like just a normal statement, but for real it is. You know, I wanted to remind our people how blessed we are together. You know, it's, this, the song carries a message of unity, peace, togetherness. You know, I just wanted to tell those people who maybe in one way or the other has been affected by what's happening in our country that there is still hope. You know, there is hope. And definitely a better Nigeria is gonna come. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. I, I, we're still going to listen to that song. I know it will be great. Um, actually, I've listened to it. I'm sure a lot of people are going to enjoy the song. So, you know, you started this year. What, what are the plans? What, are, what other plans do you have for, you know, what does, what are the projects that Silverline has in store for us? Okay. So far, a lot of things lined up for me this season. Okay. And next year, I'm not gonna disclose yet. Oh come on! <laughs> don't be so. Don't don't hide things from your radio boyfriend. Now. <laughs> no, it's not good now, you know. <laughs> so, but you have some projects you're you're, you're preparing. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. I'll be the first to know when there's something. Definitely. Up. All right. So, um, there's still more more great songs that we're gonna be playing, uh, of course, from you. But before we get to that part, yeah, you seem a little bit shy sometimes, you know. Sometimes you get you get shy and all that, but uh, I, I'm still going to ask you this other question. It's um, a little bit, you know, not usual, not really the kind of question you expect me to ask. Um, okay, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Okay, my boyfriend. Sorry, I have to ask you that. All right, so let's move on. Let me not ask that so you don't get too shy. Um, the question is this. I was going to ask you. Okay. Who is that celebrity that you crush on? Be honest, don't tell me Ibuka. Everybody's crushing Ibuka. <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah? There, tell me. Okay, that should be Timmy Dakolo. Oh, wow. But he's married. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you know he's married. I'm sorry to say, but yeah. Oh, wow. And he inspires me. He... Uh, you have to take another pick. Please. Leave the married people, please. We have had a lot of uh, crazy things going on. Please, leave him. Well, I can't think of any other person right now. Wow. Yeah. So you're dead serious. Don't worry, your own Timmy Dracula is coming. Amen. Coming. <laughs> <laughs> she said amen. <laughs> oh, definitely no. <laughs> yeah, of course. All right, so what's your playlist like? What What are the kind of songs? You were trying to say something about Timmy Dracula, you know, how he inspires you, you know. When you're told to make a top 10 playlist, like in your phone right now, there are songs you listen to, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so if you're asked to make your top 10 playlist, all right, so what song would it be, you know, to comprise, you know, the top 10? Okay, that's Great Nation first. Great by Nation, Timmy Dakolo, okay, so. Yeah, Unstoppable by Sia. Oh, wow, that's a new song. Yeah, yeah. and uh, The Greatest. By heart, so okay. you know, I lost you a lot. Okay, and uh, wait, okay, Park Well by David Cloud. Okay, I've not heard that. And okay, and 
Ah, I forgot in the song. Papa not putting you on By her Russia, no. Oh, okay. Ebube Chuku. Yes. You love that song. Uh, are, yeah. Are you sure it's not the because I told you? No. Okay, you love the song. Yeah. Okay. Okay, which other? Mm. Uh Love Scout, I can't get it. Oh, okay, all. okay, but this one's actually nice. Actually mm. nice. I'm still hoping to hear more songs from you. You know, I'm still hoping to, you know, get more great songs from you know from you, you know, in time. You don't want to tell us the project you have, but hey, we'll be we'll be keeping our fingers crossed. Of course, that's see, what I want you to do. Yeah, to see what song you have. Alright, so um <laughs> we're gonna check out your song. But before you do we do that, I would like you to tell us uh, where we can connect with you, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, for those those on Snapchat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. In, on Instagram is Silverline Sokari at Silverline Sokari. Facebook same Silverline Sokari. You want me to share my last number? No, don't. <laughs> you just no, said you, to, just I, you know, I'm, I'm used to I'm used to three platforms. Okay. And you said two. Twitter Silverline Sokari. Okay, you don't do Instagram. I do Instagram. I mentioned that Silverline Sokari. Yeah, Silverline Sokari. Yeah. Oh, okay. Instagram. Facebook. Same. Oh, okay. So all of them are the same. Silver lines, okay. It's that simple. Just go straight there. Silver, silver lines, okay. You have to spell that thing before someone would think it's okay. Let me close my mouth. <laughs> See, it almost came out. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. Close my you mouth. wouldn't dare. I was trying to be on, on TV. <laughs> Let me hear. What would it say? What would it say? Where will I enter? A whole big me. Where will I enter? How can you swallow? <laughs> eh? Do you swallow, you know, fufu and all those things? You cannot. You're underestimating Why would it say enter? me. He will not enter. We know. You're underestimating <laughs> my, my <laughs> capacity. So. Okay, so just go ahead and spell it so we can. Uh, Silver line is spelled S Y L V E R L I N E, then Sokari, S O K R I. Mm. Alright, so before I let you go, I'm going to ask you this. First of all, two questions, it comes in twos. Alright, so first of all, um, what do you intend to change with your music? That's the first question. You know, what, what is that thing you're planning to change with music? What, how, how would you like to change things with your music? Okay, I intend to change people's mentality about our country. You know, ask somebody, do you love your country, Nigeria? And be like, what thing I want love about this country? <laughs> no. The US you see today wasn't built in a day. And they are over 100 years old and we are just... So there is so much more that we can still achieve. So we should still hope for betterness. Mm. Okay, we're going to hope for that. And then the next question is, um, um, what, what are the artists you would uh, hope to work with? What are the artists you're you know, hoping to work with? Okay, first I, I love Tubaba. Mm. Yes. Everybody loves Tubaba. Yes. <laughs> I mean, we're looking at outside, not just Nigerian artists. We're also looking at Sia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Adele, if you like Adele, uh -huh. I don't know. I do, I do. I'm just saying. And uh, the rest of them. Who are the artists you would them? Um, I mean, there's the, the list is open. I mean, okay. you don't know them. I, I want I, to work with you as well. I, think I would really love to work with Beyonce. Oh, yeah. You know, I was going to say Beyonce, but I kept my I kept my cool, you know, for a while, for a reason I don't even know. Well, you have been right. Yeah, so why is that? Beyonce, not you even know, Sia. I love Sia too, but Beyonce has this kind of a vibe that I like. Oh, okay. Yeah. This angelic and a strong voice. Mm -hmm. She's just cool. I, I think I love me. Beyonce as well. So, what are, who are, who are the persons, you know, Nigeria out there? Nigeria? To Baba, we've heard that. And Wheezy Baby. <laughs> hey, Wheezy Papa. I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> he's still someone's, you know, you'll be surprised uh, at the kind of ladies calling him baby, you know? He's no longer like, a baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> baby, do this one for me. Huh? Baby, <laughs> my account is red. <laughs> baby, give me something. You know, you don't know. No, he's now a dad, you know. So. Uh, he's, he's been a dad for a while. A dad. Yeah, so even as young as he is, hmm. he's still a dad, you know. <laughs> it's all good. All right, so we're going to check out um, what's the name of the song again? Nigeria is so blessed. Nigeria is so blessed. All right, so we're going to be checking that out right here on 042 Express by Silver Line. So stay tuned for all of that right here. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Nigeria. 
just so blessed I love my people Everything nice God made it so Diverse in culture Ethnic and language With brotherly love will Continue striving We are the voice Of the young people It's so amazing The change in history We are one nation We are one people Love for our country time with you guys it's been amazing with you guys today and uh, we've had so much fun I have I have had so much fun right here all right so join me tomorrow on another edition of the 042 Express it will be very incredible it will be very very interesting trust me would love it all right so remember to connect with me on Twitter at blue magic underscore music on Twitter on Instagram is at blue magic underscore music and on Facebook is blue space magic underscore music and you can also go straight to my YouTube page Remember to always subscribe, all right? So it's very simple, Edwin Odi on YouTube. Remember to always subscribe and uh, leave a comment. Uh, I would really be nice if you do that. And uh, also, um, you know, talk about what, what, what you think should be changed, what, what you think is not going the way you want it to go, because officially this show is for you and for you alone, all right? So make sure you do that. All right, so I'm going to be leaving you right now. And it's been great. It's been fun. It's been interesting. Join me tomorrow for another edition of the 042 Express. For now, remain blessed. I feel like a pastor. Remain blessed. Express. Express.